Hello and welcome to the channel. In previous videos, we've seen different methods to get data from Google Sheets. And especially in one of the last videos, I gave an overview of five different ways to do it. But so far, we've got data from public spreadsheets. In this video, we will see how to get data from a restricted Google spreadsheet using one of the methods I introduced in one of those videos, which consists of creating your own custom API. And as an example, again, we're going to use this simple table, simple file with users and IDs. But let's now think that this is restricted. So I'm going to set it up as restricted. Imagine you have here uh, private details, bank accounts, passwords, etc., and you want to keep it restricted. Then, as explained in that other video, we're going to create our own custom API. And to do that, we need to go to extensions, apps, script, and we're going to actually use Google Apps Script. Once we have our API and the URL link to access that API or web app, we're going to come back to uh, Excel and actually I'm going to do it already. This will be get restricted Google Sheets. And as it was covered in that other video, we're going to send a HTTP request. We are always sending a HTTP request to the web URL. But with other methods, we were using the Google URLs uh, or the Google Sheets URL, but in this case, we're going to use our own Google Script API or web app macro URL. Remember, we need to have the XML library added. So you see, I have it here already, Microsoft XML 6.0. And then we declare here an object HTTP request as an object, and we're going to set the HTTP request with create object as ms xml two dot server xml http and then with the http request we're gonna open a connection to get data from the url we will get back to that in a moment and the asynchronous call is gonna be false so finally we're gonna send that request we have seen that in so many other videos. We can actually wait do until HTTP request is ready. And then the response is going to be HTTP request dot response text. And we can debug print that response. And we will see later how that looks like and what are the options. But now let's go to create our API and get that URL. So URL, we can have it here as a string and once we have it we will just add it here so let me go back to uh, our spreadsheet and here's the app script editor with the macro we're going to create now we can give it the name or just leave it as it is it doesn't really matter our spreadsheet is called users now, to create this api or web app that we're going to access we need actually to have a do get function and this can have a parameter here or, or 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 more parameters or it can be empty and we will talk about it later we can have a parameter for example to add a token to the call to have a second level authentication for example or, but for now we're going to leave it empty so this is just a function a macro uh, like the others we've seen like the macros we've seen in Excel, we've also seen how to do the macros in Google Sheets. I'm going to leave this link up here if you haven't seen it yet, uh, because otherwise this may sound a little new to you. So check out that video. So now we're going to get uh, the spreadsheet. What the sp with the spreadsheet, are, we're going to get the active spreadsheet, which is this one we are working on. And then we're going to have our worksheet or sheet from the active spreadsheet get active sheet and and in case we want to get some other specific uh, sheet we would use the other method get sheet by id or by name actually this one get sheet by name and we would write here the the sheet name in this case is sheet one but again yeah that's in, in our case we don't only have one so we can get the active sheet and now we're going to get the used range. So what in Excel we call the used range. And I'm just going to call it RNG for range. And that's going to be in WS, in our active sheet, we're going to get the data range. It's this one here. 
So that's the equivalent to used range in, in Excel VBA. And finally, we can get the data in that range, or the values, simply with range get values. If we display that, and we can do that with logger.log, which is similar to the back print in Excel. Now, the first time you run this, it's going to prompt a dialog to authenticate. So you have to review the permissions and select your Google account. Go to advance, go to the project. It says unsafe, but don't worry. You just need to allow to run this uh, script. And then we get here the data. And it is an array of data, as you, as you can see. Uh, it has, so get values puts the data in an array by default, and it's very similar to, of using range.value in Excel VBA. And as you see, we have name and ID, then we have the first user, the second, and so on. But now, this is an array. We cannot return this. We, we can only return text. So one of the easiest ways to put this in a string is to convert it to JSON, because Google Apps Script is very similar to JavaScript, so there are some functions to put that uh, as JSON. So let's call it JSON. And here is the JSON object, and we have stringify. And, and then if we put here the data, we're going to get the same as um, JSON format. So let me play it. You can see that how it looks like. We already said in, in the previous videos that we don't really want to have JSON in Excel because it's more difficult to, to handle. However, we're going to leave it like that for now just to test the API. Now, to create a response, we need to use the content service uh, object and create text output. So we're going to create a text output out of the data. And now we can return the response. And actually, once we return, this doesn't serve any purpose here. Uh, we could just leave it here if we want to see it in the logger. And this is response. So basically, this uh, should work. Let me just run it to make sure it doesn't prompt any error. Yeah, it works. So now that we have our code here, our script, which is getting the data or the range with data in the active sheet, now we can deploy this as a web app. And as I explained in the previous video, we don't need to use an API executable. We can just use a web app. This is going to be a new version you can have here. Um, description. So let's call it Sheets Data API or something like that. Then you want to execute it as your account and you need to make it available to anyone. So actually I'm going to deploy now this script or this API that we've created. So actually anyone with this link would access your private data. So this is not good. But as I explained earlier, we can set up second level authentication. And anyway, you shouldn't share this link with anyone unless you want them to get the data also. So if we go here to another tab and we paste that link, as you see, we just get the data here. And this is the link we have to use in our Excel macro. So I'm just going to paste it here. That's the URL, right? And again, if we want to set up second level authentication, we would simply come here and add a token, for example, with whatever uh, token we want to add, which should be uh, encoded. And you can use base64 encoding or, or even better, AES. But you can also create your own algorithm. Or in worst case scenario, you can have a plain text token as well. So um, that would add a second level authentication. Uh, but we would need to add a parameter to the code. That's what I explained earlier. A parameter here that we would check and confirm within the script before returning the response. And if you don't want to put it in the URL, you can then instead uh, send a post request and post the token or whatever encoded keyword. You could post the request and send it in the payload. But we're not going to get into all of that. Let's assume you're going to keep this URL secret. And then we can, uh, oh, I just noticed here. It doesn't say response, so that's response. We can actually now debug print that response. So let's just run it. And if we go to the immediate window, we just see the response uh, over here. So that's our restricted data from Google Sheets 
now in Excel. Now, you don't want to see it like that, right? Especially if you have a long table or a, a, a large data set. So you can just transform this into a range. And as I explained in previous videos, there is a JSON to VBA converter that can do this for you. It's a bit complicated to set up. In this case, with something so simple, because as you see, this is actually an array and we always have the square brackets for each row. So we will see how to convert that to a range in the next video. But now hopefully you know how to create your own API to get the data from a restricted Google spreadsheet into Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.